For a seventh day in a row, no food. Several Yale graduate student teachers are on a hunger strike protesting union negotiations. Dozens even gathering at the steps of the university president's front door. News 8's Jackie Slater is live at the Yale campus for us tonight with that story. Jackie? And a long day for the four men and four women taking part in this hunger strike. Now, this is home base for them. They were visited earlier today by some medical professionals who checked them out to see how they're doing. They also had a surprise visit from Grammy Award winning singer Melissa Etheridge. And then tonight, a candlelight vigil in front of the university president's house as they once again attempted to get him to speak to them. One week without food, these eight graduate teachers at Yale University, now weak in body, but strong in mind. We want a voice over our pay, which gets cut and becomes irregular, and we have no say. We want a voice over our working conditions, which Yale changes without consulting us. Tonight, in front of University President Peter Salovey's house, fellow teachers, students, and community members came out to show support for their cause. The student teachers say they will not eat until Yale enters into collective bargaining with them about the newly formed Local 33 of Unite Here, which aims to unionize students in several departments of the graduate school. Every day, we sit at 33 Wall Street in Beinecke Plaza, and we see President Salovey walk by. Although he says he's concerned for us, he hasn't said a single word to us. And he won't even look our way. University leaders have declined to enter into negotiations, saying the way in which the student teachers conducted elections is unprecedented. The school has asked the National Labor Relations Board to review the voting process. The eight fasters and everyone that supports them say it's time for the university to step up. As members of Yale's faculty, we call on President Salovey and his administration to begin collective bargaining negotiations immediately with Local 33. We want a voice, and we refuse to be ignored or waited out. And when this hunger strike first started, the university president did release a statement expressing concern for these student teachers and their health. They have declined to comment on this since then. Reporting live in New Haven tonight, Jackie Slater, News 8.